हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज डिज़ाइन ऑफ एफ आई आर फिल्टर्स सो देर आर टू वेज टू डिज़ाइन एफ आई आर फिल्टर एज यू नो द एफ आई आर स्टैंड फॉर फाइनाइट इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स द टू मैथड्स ऑफ डिज़ाइनिंग एफ आई आर फिल्टर्स आर फोरियर सीरीज मैथड एंड विंडो टेक्निक In this class, we'll be seeing the two methods: Fourier series method and windowing method for design of FIR filter. The basic steps required for it will be covered in this class. The problem solutions will be covered in the next video. Okay, let us see what is Fourier series method. The H D of e to the power j omega. This will be given in the question. This is known as desired frequency response. the desired frequency response will be given and you are asked to find design of fir filter design of fir filter means you need to find the transfer function h dash h of z so from the desired frequency response you have need to find the transfer function so this is known as design of fir filter for this the first step is to find hd of n H D of n is desired impulse response. It's computed by this formula. H D of n is equal to one by two pi integral minus pi two pi H D of e to j omega e to the power j omega n d n. After computing H D of n, we have to find H of n because here this n here e is varying between minus infinity to Infinity, and we are designing an FIR filter which is of finite nature. So we are truncating this desired impulse response to H of n, based on the number of samples given. So H of n, that is a truncated impulse response, is equal to desired impulse response H D of n for more than less than or equal to n minus one by two, and is zero otherwise. For this range, h of n value will be equal to h d of n, whatever we got it here. And we know for symmetrical impulse response, h of n is equal to h of minus n. The third step is to find the transfer function h of z, which is computed based on this formula. h of z is equal to h of zero plus summation n is equal to one to n minus one by two h of n. Z to the power of n plus Z to the power of minus n. This equation is containing positive powers of Z, so it is not physically realizable. To make it physically realizable, this H of Z is multiplied by this term Z to the power of minus of n minus one by two to get H dash of Z. So these are the four steps to be done for design of FIR filter using. for your series method coming to next topic that is the design of fir filter use using windows so here design means you have to find the transfer function h of z what is given in the question desired impulse response hd of e to the j omega is given and we need to find the transfer function design of fir filter so first step as before we are computing hd of n that is a desired impulse response which is computed based on the formula 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi hd of e to j omega e to the j omega n d omega so after finding the desired impulse response we have to find the windowing function w h of n so there are number of windows available they are rectangular window triangular window hamming window hanning window blackman window and kaiser window so each window is having its own definition so we need to compute the weighing function or the windows function suppose if it is a hamming window its equation is given as w h of n is equal to 0.5 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi n by n capital n minus 1 for minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 so in between this range wh of n is this one and is zero otherwise okay so first step is to find the desired impulse response next step is to find the window function values 
and next step is and this here h d of n is infinite in nature infinite impulse response because here the n is varying between minus infinity to infinity and we are designing an f i r filter. So, it need to be truncated which is done by this equation h of n is truncated impulse response which is obtained by multiplying h d of n that is the desired impulse response and the window function both are multiplied for mod n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2. So, we will get the truncated impulse response and once we get the truncated impulse response we can find the transfer function h of z which is given by h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power of n plus z to the power of minus n. So, this transfer function is comprising of some positive powers of z. So, it is not physically realizable. So, we need to multiply this h of z with the term z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 to get h dash of z. Okay. So, these are the 5 steps to be followed for design of FIR filter using a windowing method. Okay. I hope all the equations are clear. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Good luck students.